that you just saw some of your friends, you know, gathering and gossiping. You have two options. A, you keep silence. <laughs> B, you just join them. Do you know John got a new girlfriend? <laughs> really? Who is she? Taylor Swift. <laughs> okay. If your answer is A, congratulations, you are a good mommy's boy because mom always told your children not to get involved into gossiping. So in this case, you might think silence is golden. If your answer is B, usually my mom does that, then you might think silence is not golden because you get some benefits from being talkative. That's still not the case. I majored in the College of, College of Management. So one day I got a chance to deliver a presentation in front of my classmates. And my topic was how to manage people. So I started with defining the meaning of management, illustrating the history of management, and mentioning some good company has good management. However, no sooner had I turned my focus back to the audience, and I realized that why people sitting in position were all maintaining weird angles, like, like this. <laughs> Some people like, like this. And I noticed that, oh, holy sh no. I think my topic is so boring. What am I going to do? And look, look over there. there there's a guy who's going to fall asleep. <laughs> what am I going to do? I, I prepared this for a long time. God, I'm so sad. And I told myself that maybe I just need some stimulation. What about some interaction with the audience? Audience will love it, right? <laughs> so what I did next was twisting my you know, shocking face back to my normal smiling face and pretending that I was really relaxed and walked down the stage as one of the audience what do you think about a meme manager? And her reaction, her reaction was just <laughs> innocent face. And I told myself that maybe the question is too hard, and I asked her one more time. Do you like your boss to be the main guy? <laughs> Silence. And you know, to make it much more simpler, I just said. You know, actually, you just need to answer yes or no. <laughs> Silence again. And she uses exactly the same innocent face to look at me. And what do you mean with this innocent, curious face? It's just like a, just like a baby face, you know, just like a baby face. And do, what do you think? Do you think that I'm your father or something? You just gave more and said, hello, daddy, or something? And you are just keep silence. Come on, you have already existed on this planet for 19 years. And at least we are already being classmates for one semester. There's no way for you to not recognize me. So I started to think that is silence always golden? In some cases, silence truly really helps you not get involved into troubles. However, oppositely, in another case, you lose your chance to gain new knowledge, you lose your chances to express yourself, and you lose your chances to realize your own value. So what triggers me to think next was, when should we be silent? The thing I come up with was library, because library always has all kinds of silence books. And I went to the library and dug around the bookshelves, and there is a word written, philosophy. So I picked some of the philosophy books uh, relating the, to the freedom of speech and I also went to a law section to pick some of the law books uh, like some right of silence. Initially, I was pretty ambitious about finding an answer. I could find a true the place of word. I'm so excited. I just, I just end up falling asleep after reading three sentences. <laughs> so later on, I still thought about this question and I went to the economics class. And unintentionally, I heard a teacher say something, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes you need to ask your heart. 
for God's sake. I have no idea why this word will occur in economics class. But anyway, I apply this concept into my question, and it turned out that it pretty makes sense. The decision whether we should be silenced or not is based on our heart. Ask your heart genuinely, is it the right thing to say your words under this circumstance? Would your word help your friends or make this word become better? If your heart says no, you will make this word better and you will actually hurt other people's feelings. Then you should just keep silence. But if you think that your words will help your friend, help you make your friend positive and happy, and make this word become better, then you should definitely say it. Last but not least, I think that human beings are social creatures. It's our nature to know people, to socialize with people, and the invention of language makes all these things become true. We use language to cooperate with each other, we use language to make the civilization developed. Therefore, once you know something is right, then there's no necessity to keep silence. Instead, it's your obligation to speak up and tell the truth. That is why you are here. That is why we are all here. And that's why you joined Toastmasters. Back to TMD. <laughs>